welcome to day two of the Mediterranean diet and lifestyle immersion. So I'm calling these videos what I eat in a day because basically I'm concentrating on everything that I eat in a day and trying to make it as Mediterranean inspired as possible. So I think I'm going to make some coffee today and for breakfast, yesterday I bought a little bit of smoked salmon and some regatta cheese so I think I'm going to spread that on some bread for a nice savory breakfast. Maybe dress it up a little with some cracked pepper and maybe some red onion, maybe some capers, we'll see. Dress it up the way I would if I was making like a smoked salmon bagel. Um, I've also tasked myself today with not spending any money because I did a lot of shopping yesterday. I didn't really shop with um, meal plans in mind, I just sort of bought my Mediterranean staples. But I did buy a large bag of turnips and I love turnip soup so I think we're going to make turnip soup tonight and I bought a little soup kit that you saw in yesterday's video that had some herbs and it had hot pepper. So I'm going to try to spice that soup up a little and uh, I think that'll be fun. And as a side dish to that, I bought some tortillas. I think I'm going to make some black beans and put some cheese in there and make some tortillas on the side. And I know that that sounds Mexican, right? <laughs> and Mexican is not, Mexico is not on the Mediterranean. But you know, I'm in New Jersey and that's not on the Mediterranean either. And I want to show you that the, Mex the Mediterranean diet is portable. You can eat it wherever you are. And actually a lot of Mexican food is sort of on the same idea of some Mediterranean food where they eat a lot of beans and they eat a lot of vegetables and cheese and some flatbreads and things. So I think it'll work out well. So come and join me for the day and I hope you enjoy the food. So for breakfast I'm making some coffee and then I have this Italian bread that I was eating yesterday and I spread on some part skim regatta. I'm just lying down some smoked salmon. Sort of like smoked salmon bagel but with the Italian bread. And you can dress this up any way you like and put on some red onion, maybe some capers. I'm gonna put on some freshly cracked pepper. And that's a nice savory breakfast. It's a very bleak, cold December day. It was actually flaring earlier, but look at that cardinal. So bright. For lunch today, I'm going to make some leftovers. Two days ago, I was in a restaurant and I ordered veal milanese, and it came with these potatoes, little rosemary potatoes, and it had a big salad on top. So I'm just dumping this into a frying pan to heat it up. I have a little bit of oil in here. I'm going to heat that up. And then when they get hot, I'm going to make two eggs over easy over on this side. And that's going to be our lunch for today. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Hopefully it'll come out good. Looks like it's smiling at me. here that I wanted to show you. This one, the Mediterranean table, is by far my favorite. You can see I have a lot of pages marked off here. Um, it's a little worse for wear because it got wet, so it looks a little wavy, <laughs> that's why. Um, but it has um, recipes in here from all of the Mediterranean countries. So if I just flip through here for a second, I see Greece, Morocco, Spain, Southern Italy, Portugal, Cyprus. Um, there's so many different recipes from different countries in here that I really go to this one a lot. So this is a good one. Give you a close up here. It doesn't really have an author, it's just like a collective. It's from Sonoma Press. So you might want to look that one up if you're interested in the Mediterranean diet. I have another one here called Pasta e Verdura by Jack Bishop. I really like Jack Bishop. He has a lot of good cookbooks. And this one is just a, basically a pasta book that teaches you how to make different vegetable sauces. So there aren't really any pictures in here, um, which is kind of a bummer because I like when they have pictures, but there are so many recipes in here that it just teaches you all the different ways that you can make pasta with different vegetables as sauces instead of always defaulting to tomato sauce or something creamy. This one, oh, this one's so heavy. <laughs> This is by Mark Bittman. It's how to cook everything vegetarian. And while I'm no longer a vegetarian, I did uh, try to live a vegetarian lifestyle for about four and a half years. 
Oh, I still don't eat a lot of meat, so I really love this cookbook. I love Mark Bittman too. He's a hoot. And uh, this is basically how to cook everything. Is that a beautiful picture? Um, how to cook everything in general. It just is very meatless. Um, but I mean, to very basics from like how to make a butter sauce to a hollandaise sauce to all different kinds of sauces or, or how to make refried beans. Or he has the basics of grains and things like that in here. And what I love about Mark Bittman is that he'll tell you how, to, he'll give you a recipe and he'll tell you how to do something and then he'll give you 10 variations on how to do it. So he'll give you one basic recipe and then he'll tell you all the different ways that you can dress it up or vary it and use it again to make it not be the same. This is a really great cookbook, look how thick it is. He also has how to cook everything without the vegetarian on it. And that's a great cookbook too. It's just like a great basic cookbook. So if you know anyone who really wants to learn how to cook or a newlywed or something that makes a great gift. I also have a couple of magazines here that I just picked up in the supermarket. This one is by America's Test Kitchen. I don't know, I've never heard of that, but the best Mediterranean diet recipes. And it's just a magazine, but it's practically like a cookbook in itself. There's so many beautiful recipes in here. And again, they go, they try to go out of their way to go to all the countries around the world because a lot of times when people talk about the Mediterranean diet there's all kinds of nutritional tables in here too. <laughs> um, a lot of times when people talk about the Mediterranean diet they, they concentrate a lot on Greece um, because there are a lot of um, healthy recipes that come out of Greece and some of the islands like Crete and things like that are some of the hotbeds of the Mediterranean diet and where people live to be in their over 100 and um, so but a lot of people don't always just want to eat Greek food you know so this gives you a chance to try recipes from all around that region and there's a lot of Spanish recipes in here and there's recipes for quail and things like that but some of them are really easy there's some stews and side dishes and how to make vegetables and this is just I found this uh, in the supermarket and it says that it's on the shelf until March 26, 2018 so you can probably still find this if you're interested in it. Um, these are my recommendations for cookbooks and if you really want to just use one this one is just my favorite. This is so many good recipes in it. I have gone to this time and time again and actually the dinner that I made last night was in here. I didn't follow it exactly like I said because I didn't put um, the fruit in it but um, the basic idea of that recipe came from here and I've, I've just used this so many times that this is really going to save you if you really want to try to learn to eat Mediterranean. So I hope you like this review of my cookbooks and uh, let me know if you have any great cookbooks that you like to use. I would love to learn from you too. So see you later. So in preparation for tonight's dinner I have these beautiful black beans. Aren't they so pretty? They're so shiny. And I'm going to put them in this pan because they were in a bag they need to be softened and I'm going to do what they call a quick soak so I'm going to take some filtered water and I'm going to put enough water just to cover them and then you bring them to a boil and you turn the water off and you let them sit for an hour approximately and then you can use them to make dinner so this is just a little prep time Drain the beans and look how much bigger they got after the quick soak. Here are the six turnips that we bought yesterday and these are going to become a delicious soup. It's real easy to make vegetable soup. So what we did is chop these turnips up into smaller chunks and then we're gonna boil them in some vegetable broth. And when they soften, you can put them in a blender and then you can spice them up any way you want. beans, a little salt and pepper, some dried Italian herb mix, some onion, and some garlic rough chopped just to season it. And now we're going to cook the beans as long as we cook the turnips. Excuse 
Excuse me. <laughs> Scarlet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Scarlet. them to make our little quesadillas. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's recipes. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you join me tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell if you want to be notified every time a new video goes live. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.